Hello, today I would like to present you this quite interesting device that is being called HydroFit. It is your personal own wellness center for creating a bubble bath at your own home. But I'm looking for this from perspective of using that pump in your other electronic applications. But in normal case, you would put like a rubber mat in bottom of your tub. Then you attach it with your hose and you are supplying air with that pump that is basically a HVLP, high volume, low pressure. With a UV sanitizer, it will pass that air through a UV lamp. Also with heater that is creating warm air and with place to put a stand so it will be smelling very nice. It is absolutely beautiful device that you can use in your lab if you need a large quantities of air. Let's take a look what we've got in box. First we've got this beautiful air hose that looks a little bit like hose for a vacuum cleaner, but it's dedicated for providing high volume of air, so it's got a very nice diameter. It also got that very nice insert that is making it secure, so you can definitely reuse it for a different purposes. This is one of the most interesting elements, it is a check valve, you mount that side toward your pump, there is a spring and there is a valve, and just imagine that water would start going back, because you would do something stupid, you definitely do not want that water go into your pump that have got electric components, so if the air is not going to be passing through it, then it will lock itself up and water will never came back and go into the pump. Very interesting touch in form of safety. We've got our device. We've got our device. We've got some other components and we've got our mat. From my point of view, that mat is absolutely the least exciting element. You've got device that go like this, you put it on bottom of your bathtub. You've got those elements that are extremely critical because you, your weight is going to be sitting on that and those channels are going to be providing air on the whole area. So no matter how you see it, you are going to be leaving those channel open. Very interesting touch. If you would not have them, then you would be sitting and blocking the air. So part of your mat won't be working. A very interesting element. On back, we've got those suction caps and they are protecting the map from slipping. This is your air inlet and it's using a squeeze-in connector, so you just have to work it in, and this is the end result. This is our air pump, and it is something that I was extremely looking forward to check out. We've got our main panel, we've got the ozone on-off switch with the corresponding indicator, the heater inside for warming your air, We've got a different kind of programs that are going to be turning it off and on. So you've got a feeling that someone is playing with that. We've got ability to switch between medium, low intensity. So it is going to be good if you would like to switch the amount of air that is going to be delivered to your project. Here you've got a time of switch, so the device got turn itself off after 30 minutes, 20 or 10, and your master power switch. Here is a quite interesting element. It is device for applying scent for your air. So I'm pretty sure that you have to put like a oil with a scent 
and afterward you go like this and you've got like a knob that allow you to adjust the amount of air the air is going to be passing through it and pushing the smell into the air that is coming out absolutely great here you've got a window for checking out if your ozone generator is working there is a uv discharge lamp inside so we are going to see how well does it working on back we do not have anything here we've got our air outlet and you are going to be attaching the end with a one-way check valve so it go like this then on back we've got a device for hanging in wall this is a special hook and if you would be interested this is the model number here in bag we've got a screw for holding it on wall you've got second part of the attachment and that part you are going to fix like stationary and you are just going to be hanging it when you want to use it and we've got the remote with all function replicated from the front panel so you can turn it on off and change the settings without need to touching it with your wet fingers which is a absolutely very good way because you don't want to get electrocuted i'm interested in this device in source of air that is contain ozone so let's see how well does it work i will plug it in and we are going to take a look at the front panel so let me turn it on it will be loud so you are not going to be hearing me This is a full power. We've got ability to enable heater. And the air is a little bit warmer. And we can start the UV lamp, so pay attention into the window and you've got your arc and this is your UV so absolutely great you can check it out let's try to fill that glove with air and as you can see As you were able to see it was looking absolutely beautiful so we've got what we want we've got a high volume low pressure air from that simple device with a uv ozone generator absolutely beautiful tool for your lab so thank you very much for watching i hope you find it interesting see you next time and bye bye